Hey, I'm Satorial Phil. Welcome back to my channel. I have an unboxing for you today, and it's a watch item from Bernard Favre. And if you know anything about that brand, you should know what this is because they pretty much just make one thing. They're not super well known because they're just manufactured in Switzerland, but I remember seeing it in a blog and it just really caught my eye and it's something I needed. And I did already open it and use it already, so it's not in the exact condition or it's not in the exact packaging as it was. So it has a case that comes with it. And then there's some cleaning cloth. So there's a there's a pouch actually. And then this is just one piece of cleaning cloth. And then there's some paper that's in this slot, which I'll show you in a little bit. There's some necessities that come with it. This is a carrying case or a travel case for it. Honestly, I don't think you would really use it, but it's just part of the display. And this is in pleather. Kind of expected it to be. I wish it was in leather. So this is their gyroscopic watch winder. It's the Planet watch winder. And this is what holds the watch. I took it out because I was I had my watch on here. That's how it looks like. They come in different colors. This is the base model, the black, because I didn't want it to detract from the watch. And then it comes with a glass case. There's also a base, and that's where the USB cable would go. Comes with a booklet to explain the operating instructions because on the bottom, and I have this program right now to do like a 40 minute winding session. So you can see it in action right now. You can barely hear it, but once you add the, the glass case, it's completely silent. The thing with the glass case is you can see my light setup right now. So it is pretty reflective depending on where you put this in your house where you want it to be displayed. But what I really love about this, unlike almost every other watch winder, is that you can see the entire watch because it's winding. Most watch winders, you only see the face because it'll just wind with the, the watch in one direction. Whereas this one is a two axis winder. It looks like a gyroscope. It kind of, I think it technically isn't a gyroscope because it's not spinning on its internal axes. If this was a gyroscope, the watch should also be spinning around inside. But this is just spinning the outside, but along two axes. So the cable that they came with, it's a flat cable, which helps you charge it or power it while this is spinning. And then I'll show you a few close-ups with the watch inside of it as well. So I think you can hear it a little bit when I bring it up closer to the mic. In the back, that's how you turn it on and off. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off for now. And I'll stay in the same position. So what I want to do now is show you how it looks like with a watch actually in it. So you press these two sides to release the holder and it's pretty lightweight. It's nothing really special about it. It's just a flexible metal strip that's coated with like a rubber like material and you have the logo here. So I'm going to take off the watch that I'm wearing now, which is my Royal Oak. One thing I don't like about this is because these screws, I believe are metal. They could scratch your watch so you have to be careful how you put your watch in because this watch is 18 karat gold it can scratch pretty easily that's why i have to be careful when i put it in so that it doesn't scratch on 
these screws. The problem I have with a lot of watch winders is because my wrists are relatively small, some of them don't actually fit. But because this one is so flexible, it's I don't really have any issue putting it on. And then you also have to be careful putting it back in because this is gold. So I have to make sure it lines up so that snaps in and that doesn't fall. And then I'm going to turn it on for you guys. As I was saying earlier, the unique thing about this is that you can see pretty much all of the bracelet. You're not just looking at the watch and because the Royal Oak has a unique bracelet design, I really wanted to showcase that. This setting I think is supposed to spin the other way, but it's, I think it's going to take a few minutes to cycle, so I probably won't get to that. But there's only two ways it can spin, either this way, which is clockwise, or counterclockwise. It pretty much looks the same. And then I'll, if I put the cover on, it looks like that. Cover really is just more or less to protect it and to reduce dust. You don't necessarily need to put the case on though if you don't want to. But because of the moving parts, it's probably better to put it on because you don't want to have dust collect in the spinning mechanism. So there it turned. So now it's going counterclockwise. And the reason why they have both settings is depending on which direction the pendulum swings or which direction you put your watch in, you may need it to spin the other way in order to wind it. And that's my video. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about this, if you're considering getting it. And I'll have more description and details in below as well. I forgot to mention that this retails for around 1390 Swiss francs, which is pretty similar to euros. Subscribe for more videos and check out my Instagram for the latest content and updates as well. And I hope to see you in my next video.